Welcome to the Division Builds. The build setup we will discuss today is the support for all the supporting players out there. We will start by giving a description of the class, after which we will recommend the gear set, weapons, skills and talents. In the Division it is best to play as a team and every team needs a supporting player. The support build is a build that is best in suppressing enemies and enhancing their team's performance. The gear set consists of 6 pieces. The body armor, mask, knee pads, backpack, gloves and holster. 3 pieces should consist of the Lone Star gear set, which gives you 100% increased ammunition and plus 1000 light machine gun and shotgun damage. The other three pieces should consist of the Reclaimer gear set, which increases the support station healing speed by 100% and it increases the duration of consumables by 50%. The armor, mask, knee pads and backpack gear set pieces contain a total of 4 modification slots. The modification should consist of increased firearms and skill power and bonuses to the suppression, the turret damage, duration, light machine gun and shotgun damage. Your primary weapon will be the Black Market M60 E6 light machine gun. Out of the light machine guns it has the best damage and magazine capacity at 100 rounds, the best range at 40 meters and the best stability at 27%. As a light machine gun, it also has a 30% damage bonus against targets out of cover. Equipping this weapon will give you a high damage per second weapon for medium to long range engagements. Plus, it is a great candidate for some suppressing enemies. Your secondary weapon will be the AA-12 Showstopper Shotgun. Out of the shotguns, it has the best fire mode and rate of fire of at 240 rounds per minute. Plus, as a shotgun, it also has the stagger bonus. Equipping this weapon will give you a high damage per second weapon for close range engagements, which is also able to suppress and stagger the enemies. The sidearm of choice will be the Damascus M9 handgun. Out of the handguns it has the best magazine capacity and overall very balanced characteristics. It is a balanced backup weapon when the primary and secondary run out of ammo or when you need to finish an enemy off. The skills are also an important part of the build. The first skill will be the support station with the ammo cache modification. It drops a support station that heals allies and can revive them. The ammo cache allows you and your allies to regain their ammo when reloading within a radius of the support station. It aids you and your team by regaining ammo, healing them and form a revive station. The second skill will be the turret with the active sensor modification. It deploys a stationary turret that attacks hostiles. The active sensor increases the turret's damage and pulses the attack targets. It helps by suppressing the enemies and pulsing them. The signature skill will be the survivor link. It increases the damage resistance by 80% and the movement speed by 30% for a duration of 15 seconds. It will give you the freedom to openly engage enemies for you and your teammates and gives you a speed boost when you need to run away. Finally, the talents are the passive abilities that complete each character build. You can choose up to 4 talents. Battle Buddy reduces incoming damage by 50% for 10 seconds when reviving a downed ally. Combat Medic heals all allies by 40% within a 20 meter radius when using a med kit. Precision pulses a hostile for 10 seconds when shooting them in the head. And Stopping Power increases the headshot damage by 25% for 10 seconds when suppressing a hostile. 
when putting all of this together you should have a suppressing support build. Thank you for watching. The sources that we have used are mentioned in the description down below. You can support us by leaving a rating, subscribing for more related content and supporting us on Patreon. If you have any questions, comments or constructive feedback, leave those in the comment section down below.